What's going on, y'all? So, I want to talk about something real quick, man. Uh, it's quite the controversial topic, apparently. And maybe because, you know, it's kind of polarizing, but um, dating multiple people at once. Dating multiple men for a woman and dating multiple women for a guy like me. Let me just start off by saying, first off, I don't agree with it. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not with it. I think the different strokes for different folks, you know, what's, what's good for the goose ain't always good for the gander or however that damn saying go. But you get what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But for me, my mindset is I'm big on giving somebody my undivided attention one at a time. If we're seriously dating, I don't really want to entertain anybody else in that moment. In, in that week or two or three weeks that it takes. I don't even think it take that long. But anywho, the subject got brought up, man, by one of my followers. She DM'd me a post by um, an author and preacher and uh, life coach or something like that. And she was, this particular woman, was advocating for women to date multiple men all at the same time, right? So follow asked me what I thought of it, you know, and I think it's the same as relationship goals. Like you got to be on the same page as whoever it is you want to be in a relationship with about what your goals are in order to be with them. You know, whether or not they want to work towards marriage or have kids or, you know, wh whatever it is. Same thing goes for dating goals, something I ain't never heard nobody talk about. You know what I mean? So what is your idea of dating? You know, a lot of y'all probably wouldn't fuck with a dude if his idea of dating was fucking on the first night. The moment that y'all are dating, he want to fuck. You know what I mean? The moment that when y'all dating, he wants you to cook and he wants you to clean. He wants you to this, that, and the other. You're probably not going to fuck with him. A lot of y'all wouldn't because his dating goals and what his idea of dating is, is completely different from yours. You know, so the same thing for me, and I'm speaking personally, you know, my idea of dating is giving somebody my undivided attention. Like it's just like a conversation. I'm listening to who you are through your actions and I'm telling you who I am through my actions. So in a conversation, if you're talking to somebody and the entire time you talking, they looking around, they talking to other people, they texting, they doing other stuff, they multitasking. How does that make you feel? Like they're not really listening? Same thing goes for in dating. If I'm dating a woman and she's dating multiple guys, I feel like she can't really be taking a serious look at me. On top of that, I feel like the time and energy I am investing in trying to get to know her isn't really valued. And just like women know their worth, brothers know our worth too. You know what I mean? I know my worth. I know that if, uh, if I get with a woman, man, she's going to be prayed for. You know what I mean? She's going to be protected. She's going to be made love to on a regular, the right way. She's going to be planned for. I'm going to creativity, laughter, all that's going to be in our relationship. Like I know what I bring to the table. So if I go up to a woman and her plate is already full, I'm turning away. She's not even giving me a serious look. So real quick, let me back up and go to what the woman's post was. She was basically saying like women should date multiple guys because if you go out on four or five dates with a dude and you don't even know if you like him like that, you don't even know where things are headed and another guy comes and tries to talk to you, you shouldn't turn him down because that other guy could be your blessing. I think those were her words. So again, that reiterates exactly why I'm not for dating multiple people. Like it's not even a problem with entertaining the next guy. My problem is, why in the fuck, if you haven't already clicked with this first dude, are you still entertaining him at the four or five dates? The only answer is, one, either you're scared to be alone and you really enjoy having seat fillers, or two, which is probably most likely the answer, you don't know what you want. So you have to compare him to other guys in hopes that one of them impresses you out of your indecisiveness. But I'm not with, like me, I'll never... It's pointless to try and compare women to other women. And I'll tell you why. No woman will ever win that fight against what could be out there. There will always be a woman who could be better in this category and that one, whether it's pretty, whether it's cooks, whether it's cleans, whether it's whatever that you think is cool. There will always be somebody who could be better. The only thing you need to measure somebody by when you're dating is based on what you want. At 18, 19 years old, 22, 21, somewhere around there, it's understandable. You don't know what the fuck you want. So y'all just in a gray area and y'all just, let's just see where this goes, the thing. But after 25 years old, especially after 30, you should know what you want. You should know what kind of vibe you want. You should know what kind of conversations y'all should be able to have. You know, you should know their spending habits, their sense of humor. You should know what you want and that's what you should measure by. And when you measure by that, you don't need months and months of entertaining a rotation of dudes. Either he does have it or he doesn't. And I'm not saying right out the gate, 
you know, y'all first exchange numbers, y'all are dating. I personally think after the first date, but I say, okay, second date, just be on the safe side in case you want to see them in different spaces and hang out with them, you know, just to make sure. I think after the second date, if y'all are still moving forward, you're dating. You're seriously dating. And if you have two people who are not there to bullshit because they're two people who know exactly what they want out of the situation, exactly what they want out of the time and energy they're investing in each other, then it's not going to take long to date them and know whether or not you want to move forward and commit to what you guys could have. So again, you know, I understand, you know, I'm on the unpopular side of this. You know, most of the people in her comment section was applauding her and agreeing with her that, you know, you need to date as many people at once and keep your options open. But, you know, I'm dating because I don't want to have options. I want somebody worth giving up all my options so I can get the right choice and I can be the right choice for them. And for guys like me who come in, they know what they want. They're not indecisive. They have their mind made up already. They're going to want the same undivided attention in return. Or stay leaving. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.